I'm Glenn Doreen, Electronics Editor, and this is Maria Rarisich, Head of Electronics Testing here at Consumer Reports. Now, after the Bendgate internet uproar over stories of iPhone 6 and 6 Plus's bending, we decided to add some data to the conversation, and we tested six smartphones in our labs. Now, we've been receiving a lot of feedback. In fact, I've never seen the internet so interested in flexural testing before. And we'd like to address some of the questions and observations we've seen on social media and YouTube about our testing. So first, why did we choose to do the test that we did? Now, there are several ways to measure structural integrity, right? That's right. There's different fatiguing tests, stress tests, structural integrity tests. There's a three-point uh, flexural test, which is basically where we would support the phone at two points at its ends and put a load in the center of the back of the phone. There's also a four-point flexural test where we have basically the same setup but would have this load split between two part points on the back of the phone. Um, neither one of those tests really replicates what's going on in a pocket. So we chose to do the three-point test. We needed a, equipment that could accurately measure the force and exert the force on the phone. So we used our Instrom machine here. In order to get that set up, we needed to mill an anvil, which we milled out of hard plastic. That's the part that goes down into the middle of the phone. And Ooh, an we anvil. Also, an anvil. Good. And then we set up the rest of the test jig with the blocks and such to support the phone and be able to handle different lengths of phone and different sizes. So why didn't we test what's going on with a phone inside people's pockets? That's how a lot of this got started, right? There were reports online of iPhones bending in people's pockets. Right, so the problem with doing a test like that is there's no way to quickly and consistently test what various pockets could do to a phone. Yeah, and everybody's got like a different pair of jeans, right? And we saw it was about more than just pockets, right? We saw people bending these things with their hands online and we started wondering about whether these phones are weaker than they needed to be. Right, so we wanted a test that, rather than concentrating on the pocket, was just more about testing the structural integrity of the case of the phone. And we needed a test that we could do a comparative analysis across different phones. And we chose six of them. Correct. Of and different brands. And different the test's got to be the same for, for all six phones, That's right? right. Not specific a, to the right, iPhone. Right, a consistent test that treats all, each of the phones in the same way. So what about the supposed weak point on the iPhones? We got a lot of questions yeah. on this. People basically asking us, why didn't we apply the force uh, right near the volume rocker, which is what everybody supposes is the weak point on the iPhone? Right, so what we wanted to do is not presuppose where the weak point was on any phone. Remember, we were gonna test different phones, so we didn't want to have anything that favored one phone over the other, and that's why we, we placed the load in the center of the backs of the phone, and we would wait and see what would happen. The suppositions people had online were actually true, right. uh, at least in the one sample of each phone that we did. We found that indeed it did kind of break at the volume rocker. The case here on right. the iPhone 6 Plus is actually cracked at that point yep. uh, eventually, and that's when we, you know, that's when we pushed it to its maximum amount of stress. Right. We saw the case separation. And you can also but, see on the other side, right, you have this point by the SIM card, and that also bent. Yeah, which is, which is interesting. That actually, you know, if everybody was concerned about this point, it turns out that on the other side of the phone, there is another uh, point that if you stress it, eventually uh, deforms, right. right? And you can see this is the HTC phone, and it also bent right by the switches over here, on this side right over here. Mm -hmm. And this is, um, you know, it makes a lot of sense that it, these are the weak points on these phones because this is where there's an opening in the frame, so it's cut out. It's a thinner part of the frame at yeah. that point. Surprise, surprise, where there's a hole in the case, that's where it's, it's naturally weaker. Right. What other tests are we doing on the new iPhones? We do a lot more than just bend phones around here. That's right, we do battery life testing, which we just finished on the iPhones yesterday. We do voice quality, messaging, ease of use, and the full set of tests that we do on every phone. And that means that overall ratings should be done soon. Yes. Now I want the millions of you who watched our last video to take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be the first to get our newest videos on iPhones as well as the latest tech year and much, much more.